Hello everyone, and welcome to the first devlog of what could possibly be the coolest devlog of all time. See, you know it's going to be cool, because the main character of this game looks like this. Look at him. He, he radiates coolness. Anyways, I should probably start talking about game devy stuff now, uh, so, so let's, let's do that. So my vision for this game is kind of a rage, platformer, coolness simulator, MMO, 3D, top-down, RPG, UI-based, tiled puzzle, combat-heavy dating sim. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is it's gonna need some movement. But keep in mind the uh, rage aspect of the game. And as a wise man once said, The rules of the modern rage game. 1. The controls are frustrating and hard to master. 2. Making a small mistake could potentially lead to a huge loss in progress. Oh, it happened again. <clears throat> Keep on trying. And 3. Difficulty doesn't come from randomness, so it should be possible to actually become skilled at the game. Sounds about right. So I quickly implemented a way to jump by holding down the mouse button, and a way to move left or right by giving the player a short boost when they press left or right. That's a lot of left or rights. Anyway... Right off the bat I'd say I like the mechanic of, of the skateboard, how it moves and stuff, but god damn it. But I would have a different setup first of all. I think having uh, the jump based off of god damn it. Having the jump based off of the mouse is pretty it's pretty hard to control. Yes, yes, Reese, that is the point. I mean, apart from Reese being Reese, uh, the game at this point was turning out pretty good. It looked a bit boring though, and, and everyone knows. Uh, if the game looks bad, then the, the game looks bad. Such wise words. So I had my guy JGM make this beautiful background for me, and mad props to him, it looks amazing. So we spent, you know, like one, two, okay, maybe like five trying to make the parallax work on the background during my stream. <coughs> Twitch.tv slash Nova Night, but with a zero instead of an O. <coughs> After I had uh, a nice, oh, oh wait, sorry about that, I, I forgot about uh, the coolness level. Um, After I had a cool base for the game set up, I shared it with some Discord servers and I was actually hit up by someone, which I did not think would happen. Drum roll, please. Wait, wait, we can't afford a drum roll? Uh, scratch that. Um, anyway, everyone welcome Tehabra to the project. He hit me up with this awesome rendition of Skater Snake, and he's now working with me to create all the art for the game. Don't tell anyone that I kidnapped him, though. With that, I also invited one of my close and cool friends to help out with the design of the game. And we also got a composer for the project. Uh, so say hello to Nick and Kerf. Uh, in fact, the background music you've been hearing this entire time was all made by Kerf, and you should totally check him out. I left his SoundCloud in the description so you can check him out. He's amazing at what he does. To spice things up, I decided to add some new platforms. Like, a lot of platforms. You know what, you know what that calls for? <sighs> Lightning round! Grass platform slows you down. Slide platform is a bouncy boy. Boost platform is, well, pretty self-explanatory. Battery platform speeds up the jump charge. Gun platform prevents you from jumping. Moving platform is, well, also pretty self-explanatory. Invisible platform only appears when wearing sunglasses. More on that later devlogs. Cooler platform is a slippery boy. And the broken platform will fall if standing on it for too long. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I also added a thing called the main menu at the end. Alright guys, that was the first episode of the Skater Snake devlogs. If you would like to see more of this project, let me know down in the comments, because I have no idea if you guys want to see more of this, so let me know. Um, if you would like to see me developing the game live uh, on camera, uh, you can go to twitch.tv slash Nova Knight, but with a zero instead of a O. Uh, and I stream a lot of, I do a lot of pixel art streams and game development streams there. So you can go and check me out. I hope you guys like this video. And yeah, that'll be it for now. See you, everyone.